Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch and today we're going to be looking at something a little bit different. Today we're going to be looking at a game design tool, definitely an area that is under serviced in general, and this one is called Mila Note. Now to be honest, it's not specifically to game development, and it actually might be Mila Note. I have no idea how these things are pronounced, so I always make them up as I go. This one is more of a project organization visual design board, but it has game development tools built into it. If you want to check it out, all you got to do is go to Mila Note or MilaNote.com in your browser. That's M-I-L-A, note.com, uh, and you can sign in with Google or whatever. As you can see, it's pretty straightforward. It is a visual design board, uh, and if this thing did not specifically have uh, game development functionality built into it, I probably wouldn't be checking it out, but it does. So you can do things. You can upload files, save text and images, add notes, and so on, organize all of your stuff visually, so on and so forth. So you see a breakdown of how people use it, uh, and one of the areas is, if I go back here to the very top, people who use it. And we come here, you see things like graphics designers, motion designers, and so on. But there is a section for game designers as well. So let's go check out the game design section. So here you can see for uh, planning of your video game, uh, design workflow. You can work with teams, by the way, so you can have multiple editors on a project, create storyboards, outlines, uh, dynamic mood boards. Uh, you can bring character profiles and such. So if you're kind of basically just doing design for your game, it's got a number of different templates built in. So game design document template, for example, character profile template, level design template, storyboard template, world building template, and so on. So we're going to go ahead and check those things out now. So this here is, um, it, it, this is Mila Note in action. I'm going to go back here to home like so. And we're going to create a brand new board. Uh, there is a phone based version available as well. So here you go. Everything starts as a board, drop the board in and we will call this my Uber game. All right. So there is our board. You can open that one up and you can pick a template for it. So again, more templates and you come on down here. There are a number for game design and we will call this one. Uh, this is our game design document. So you see here a bit of an outline. By the way, you can have it keep the character the keep the example content or not. So yeah, sure. And we will use this as our template. All right, so here we go. This is our initial board. It's pretty straightforward to navigate around. You can zoom, uh, add new things in and so on. And then you can add a number of concepts on top of here. So these are actually nested boards again. So you see here level designs have broke down. The concept of the game is defined here. So we drill into this. Uh, you can see here there's two boards, two cards. So we can drop into a card and then we can start building on top of that. Everything has a bread comes bread from like navigation. So over here like so. So here is a character design. We want to say add our own character in on this design. We could come in here and we could do a new board again, like so. And we'll call this my character, like so. And we'll just add that, open that guy's board up. Like so, by the way, everything you're seeing here right now is the free plan in action. And once again, go back here, go to game design. And let's say, okay, we're gonna do a character profile at this point in time. Here is a default setup. Sure, we'll use this template, but we won't keep the art this time. Um, all right, so we go. By the way, you can create your own templates, which you can save from as well. So here you can see you've got like the character uh, art and the attachments and so on. Uh, you do have the ability to upload your own images. That's part of where the um, commercial plans come into play, though. Uh, so we'll look at some of those limitations in just a second. But you can also use their catalog of built-in images. Uh, which is 2 million free images from Unsplash. So let's go ahead, grab our character. All right, there we go. So let's say we want a Goku. Let's drop Goku into here. All right, so there you go. So you can see you can access their images. It's in the wrong spot though. Let's move this over. So you see how easy it is to pretty much navigate things on the fly. So there is our character in action. We could go ahead and start naming him. So Goku, uh, I actually don't remember his parents' names. He's a Saiyan or a Saiyan. Sorry, I said that just to trigger people. Hey, autocomplete. I meant what I said. Uh, over 9,000 of them. And he's a bit of a bum. All right, there you go. So there's how you go ahead and start adding things in. Again, you can start dropping in files as you wish. You can also go ahead and kind of collect things together. So let's say, for example, uh, we ha had a note here. Uh, starts life as an ape. All right. So we could continue, we could drop that in there. So let's say we went there and then we could do another note. Um, becomes a Saiyan. All right, so there we go. And then you've also got the ability to do pins between things. So we can do that box, 
to that box right there. By the way, if you want to do compound notes, you've got that ability as well. You've also got control over how those arrows actually work. You can change the weighting, the dashing label. So I could put a label on that guy. So right here, for example, and then uh, I'll just call that one player progression like so. And so you can see how you can do these easy flow charts. Everything moves. The arrows will then adapt between them. Obviously, that kind of process flow thing is very common in a game design document. You can bring your own stuff in. You can also bring in uh, oops, didn't mean to bring in a comment, although I guess you can. So if you're working collaboratively, come in here and go, uh, this is pretty stupid, bro. All right. So there you see, and you can respond to those uh, in turn, as you can see here, you can add multiple editors in if you so wish. Uh, we've also got the ability to bring in to-do lists, like so. Uh, so um, uh, make a better profile pick. Um, learn to type. All right, there you go. So you can see, I could go ahead and. Goku is ready. So you can add titles in or not. You do have the ability to, um, again, prompt that something's done, it's not done. You can reorder things and so on. So if you've got to do track tasking and so on, you've got simple abilities like that built in here as well. Um, columns uh, basically give you the ability to group things together. So I think I can actually drag and drop. So if I actually would prefer these things to be logically organized, I can put them all in together and I can rename it up here and so on. Um, what else is there? Another neat one here. So you drop down here, there's a bit more options. So you could drop in audio. So if you had voiceover work or whatever you want to have to go in here, maps, videos, headings, um, you can just do a sketch if you want. So we could just do a freehand sketch it goes in our document and save it like so. So now we have a sketch in place, or if you want, you can actually just draw all over your document if you really want like so and we can save that accordingly as well uh, we've got text controls there as well so we come down here you can add images you can upload files in here again that's where you start running into the limitations of the free version we'll get back to that in just a second uh, but there is a neat selection of things in here another neat one that they've got is this just kind of generic document so if you wanted to do a bit more detail uh, we'll call this one the Goku design document. Like so, and this is basically just a nested style document. It's got strike down or mark down tile formatting. So you've got lists, you can hyperlink out to other stuff and so on. You also have the ability to export this particular document out if you wish. So so there we go. Obviously we can text format things and so on. Uh, and it gives you the ability to basically embed documents within this kind of thing. Uh, and when you're all done with all of this, well, you can either leave it in here or what we could do is publish and share this out. And what we could do is save this guy out as, uh, so we can publish it out, um, make it password protected or whatever. So you kind of give someone externally some access. You can see what it'll look like right here. Or we can come up here and just straight out export it. And we can export this as a PDF or a PNG image, or you can actually convert it to a Word document, markdown or text-based. So let's do a PDF high quality here. And I'll go ahead and generate it for us. Again, everything you're seeing so far is in the free version uh, in action here. All right, so let's go ahead. We'll allow that to download. Here is our PDF, and that is what it looks like. So it creates pretty much a one-for-one -one PDF version of your design document. And again, everything here is um, nested. So we've got over here. By the way, I can grab this guy right there, and you'll notice I can actually change the um, the icon on it. So let's say uh, fighter. I don't know if that's actually going to give me anything, but you can search through the variety of icons they have available. There we go. So let's say yeah. So that looks like a good good image for Goku. And we can just go cool. So you can see how you can sort of nest all these documents together to make things work. So you've got your game overview. Uh, you can do things again, so for concept, um, designs, level art, and so on. Uh, so we can do ahead, and I'll show you one other uh, template style they've got going on. Again, it's just a matter of drop the board in. We'll, we'll open that one up. We will pick from the templates. Templates. Uh, game design. 
So you could do storyboarding, world building, outline, game mechanics, and so on. So let's do a game flow diagram as an example. And here you can see the other stuff that you can do with it. You're using the same tools once again. So these are basically just uh, text fields with colored boxes and so on. Yeah, so we'll keep the sample content in and we'll use this template. So you can use this to do simple flow graph style things. Again, you can drop images in. Uh, you can have commenting on it. Again, you can have other boards that you nest into like this guy right here. Uh, you can have uh, program flow. Once again, once the arrows are hooked up, everything flows naturally. So obviously you can see how you can use all of this together. So now let's get into the actual uh, pricing details of this guy. And to do that, let's head on back over here to Milano. And where did pricing go? For some reason, again, this is lagging my computer out while I record. Uh, pricing and plans. So the free version, that's everything you saw right here. You can have up to 100 notes, images, or links, 10 files uploaded, and un unlimited shared boards. So you should be able to do a basic games prototype there uh, with that level. Or you can get up to a per person fee of uh, 10 bucks a month where you're getting unlimited notes, images, or links, unlimited file uploads, and unlimited shared boards. So it's once you start embedding your documents using this as a document management tool that you're going to have to leave that free tier. But for this one, you could probably use it as a free prototyping tool in a not too bad way. And if you have a large team, uh, so basically if you've got more than five people, uh, you can do team level pricing at this point. Uh, same deal for that's 10 people. So basically half price at that stage. Um, and then as you scale up, the uh, savings goes a little bit better, but I can't imagine there's too many of you out there with a 50 person team that are gonna use something like this as a design. So you're probably either at the free tier level or the pay per, per person level, uh, but it's an interesting project for sure. Uh, it was actually Duke over on the uh, Game From Scratch Discord that pointed this one out to me, by the way. Do check out the Game From Scratch Discord. It's a cool place for sure. Uh, and it's, uh, it's an interesting project. Again, it is a little bit on the different side because we don't have a ton of focus on things like game design tools. And a lot of people are using a more ad hoc approach to this. So this is an alternative. Again, it's not obviously just for um, game design, as you saw here from when I was working with templates. So if I just drop in and start a new board up again, you're going to see from the, the templates here, we've got uh, like project plans, weekly planning, and so on. So if you say you're doing scheduled works, you can have it more breakdown for your, your weekly schedule with a bunch of nested to do's and so on. Or obviously you can create all of these templates yourself. Uh, and I, again, I do believe you have the ability to export out your template um, and use it later on. And here you can see with my playing around, I've used 55 of 100. So I'm at 28 notes, two documents, 19 images, three links, one sketch, and two to-do lists at this point in time. And I could probably, from all of the, the crap I've randomly brought in here, have modeled a simple game. But once you started getting into it, like if you were modeling all of your characters, all of the... Um, the process flows and so on. I can see quickly running into that limit. Uh, and then the question is, is it worth 10 bucks a month to you to keep going? Some people it is, some people it isn't. And of course there are other options like this out there. There are things called like mind mapping tools and other design tools. There's a couple of these kind of things that are uh, strictly aimed at game design as well. I've covered a few in the past, but I would love to hear what your recommendation is. What do you use for your project management? And would you consider checking out something like Milanote or Milanote, whichever one that is, uh, in the future? Let me know, comments down below. Talk to you all later, goodbye.